Okay, uh, I'm back and it has taken me a while. I had some guests uh, all of a sudden. Uh, anyway, <coughs> our Windows is also ready. I just did some arrange icons by auto arrange so that moved the recycle bin here. And for the cu for ease of uh, um, uh, display, I would say I have resized this. Uh, VNC viewer which I was using because 800 by 600 uh, for some strange reason made the start button disappear uh, it went below the boundary and I couldn't see it even with the full screen view which I'm right now showing you uh, as you can see if this full screen so I'll just select full screen again okay so we have this here it's very slow it's very slow and it's not because of Zen or because of the PC it's because of the drivers I was I must say it needs certain para virtual drivers to work fully efficiently although it's working or running on f f full virtualization or hard hardware assisted virtualization still it needs some drivers let's see um, although this is enough evidence but still I want to show you the um, the devices which it has uh, identified and I can select maybe this one okay yes so right click properties hmm Okay, so it says it's got uh, Pentium D, 3 gigahertz, 1 GB RAM, PAE, physical address extension. Let's go into the hardware, device manager. Okay, come on. And it's showing all these de devices here. Uh, it has got this MPS multiprocessor PC I don't know which one is that QMO hard disk and it must be uh, connected on IDE I suppose that's why it's so slow yeah this one and uh, display adapters must be Cyrus yeah it's Cyrus logic again something slow so everything is emulated for it because of course we had to emulate it doesn't understand para virtualization what else we have we the key things monitor doesn't matter network device is realtek 8139 okay now where is my network device let's see okay and uh, uh, where is that setting where I can maybe here where I can see the network card okay it must be here on the taskbar show icon in the notification area when connected okay fine and what is this PCI device? I wonder what it what this is. But at the moment, I'm not interested much in what it actually is. It would be a waste of time because I've got my network connected, I've got my hard drive, I've got display, and I don't have any sound and video uh, sound video to uh, video devices. It should not show these devices here and still it's showing but anyway system devices let's see okay it's got 440fx Pentium R processor to PCI bridge and it's got a USB as well which was not needed we don't need USB devices and all that so why use it and just for the sake of completion I'll just show you it's able to access the network It's already started to connect to MSN. You see these two little TV screens or monitors. Oh, classic Hubble photos from 20 years. 
okay good enough and I can just connect to 122.1 is my yeah that's my physical host uh, small little web uh, web page okay so it's working that was it I just wanted to show you that Windows is installed using full virtualization of Zen and uh, uh, and what hardware devices it has uh, detected and that should be all for now later uh, I'll retain this machine and later we'll install extra drivers on it but uh, I don't promise in the next video it would come in some later video I don't promise in the next video please so don't expect that um, alright so it was a nice experience and I hope the same way you can install Windows 2000, 2003 or uh, Vista and uh, and uh, Windows 7. I won't waste your time showing installation of all uh, version of Windows here. Uh, XP uh, has proven a successful test case and that should be it. Uh, that's all. That's all I want to say for now. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll be bringing in more inshallah. God willing. Thank you again.